$10,000. Damn. One of the awesome benefits of becoming a first form athlete. Let me begin by saying, even if there wasn't a grand prize of $10,000, I'd still have the same desire to be part of the first form team because of what it represents. The philosophy of first form is parallel to not only how I run business, but how I live my life. But anyway, my journey to succeed started long before I even realized it. Think about it. When you're a kid and you're hungry, but your sister is hungry, your brother is hungry, and you only have so much food to go around the table, I quickly learned how to be comfortable with being hungry. There's irony in that because now, every day I wake up, I'm still hungry. But now it's not about food, or not just about food, because my appetite now craves success. I want to be victorious. I want to be the best. I wake up every morning and I look right in the mirror and I say to myself, God's wealth is circulating in my life. His wealth flows to me with avalanches of abundance. All my needs, desires, and goals are met instantaneously by infinite intelligence. I am one with God and God is everything. My mother taught me that. My mother recently was forced to take a pay cut, and we thought that was bad enough, but weeks later, she was unexpectedly laid off. I'm talking about from a company that she's been a teacher at for 30 years. 30 years with the same company, and to show up one day, and suddenly it's all over? That's kind of wild to me. But everything changed. Within moments... My sister, my niece, my nephews, they just lost their primary source of income. Over the years, I've always assumed the responsibility to help when needed. But now things were different. Things are very different. With new circumstances, it's no longer me helping here and there. I just became solely responsible for taking care of my family and making sure everything is okay. There are times now when the phone rings, and it's my mother. I've come to expect that that call may very well mean that something needs to be taken care of. Whether it's a cell phone bill, or graduation fees, or a homecoming dress, or even something as simple as money to get lunch. It has to be done, and it's up to me. Some may say, well you're not married, you live alone. You don't have any children. Why is it up to you? And to that, I, I mean, to that question, I just have to laugh and say, that's just how it is. That's simply how we roll. And to be quite honest with you, man, I gladly accept that responsibility. I know it's not easy for my mom to ask for this kind of help because she's such a strong woman. I mean, I can hear the apprehension in her voice when she has to ask. Because for 30 years, she has been the one to always make a way. She's been the one to always figure it out. But now the tables have turned. And in that moment, your mindset changes. Your drive changes. I mean, I thought my motivation to go hard every day wasn't optional before. But now, it just became essential. Honestly, at times, I'm hesitant to share my story. Because I know it's only natural for people to feel sorry for me. Or to feel some type of sympathy. Or maybe some type of empathy. But that's not at all the case here. I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me. But this is my reality. First form asked the question. So answer the question, Mike. What would I might try to do 
worth ten thousand dollars? Here's your answer. If I was blessed enough to receive ten thousand dollars, it wouldn't be just about purchasing supplements, not about purchasing workout clothes, not just about my bills, not about freaking buying followers on Instagram or paying for likes on Twitter like our industry is so well known for. It's not about any of that. Some people look at me from the outside and they say, well, he succeeded past his needs, but they don't know my story. They don't know the responsibilities that I have outside of the gym, nor do they understand. Yeah, I own my own business. Yeah, I have achieved what some will consider success. And it has been, and it still is, a long journey. But please believe me when I say, I have a long way to go until I reach the top. I put the work in day after day for what's necessary to be successful in order to provide for my family. My family's needs and mine are far from one and the same. So what does $10,000 mean? $10,000 means that I can better take care of them. $10,000 means I can help my nephew go to college. $10,000 means I can take the stress away from my mom paying bills with no income. It means I can put food on her table so the kids can eat. $10,000 will be life changing, but in no way does it give me permission to settle. Let's be clear, in no way does it give me a pass to sit back and say I've made it. This mission to change the world is bigger than just me. $10,000 would mean a lot. It would mean so much for me to be able to continue this journey. The good news is, success is a long journey. And long ago, I made the conscious decision that I have what it takes to accomplish this feat <laughs> against all odds. I will not fail because I have strength. Courage, faith, and tenacity. I have what it takes to never sell. I'm looking to become a part of this team because this is who I am. I mean, this is really me. I am fitness. I am fearless. I am positivity. I show up ready to go. That's why a lot of people have no idea what I've made it through. But because of that, because of these things that I'm speaking of, I am first born.